uploaded a video for you now every second and then i've just come outside to do some more work uh roy has gone shopping because as i told you we don't have usual rolls um i need to tip a bill of straw out of there pick it up take it in there cut it take some into there and straw the cows because as you know we like to straw at night oh, yeah We're exciting to put you put some put you somewhere exciting will you stay there will you stay there i don't know soon see you might not Me and Anna. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so dead I don't know where she gets it from. Um, we're gonna straw out for all these little bambinos. What a straw. I really want to just have a little bit of a wash of this and when I say wash I mean so gently with that pressure wash because this thing here is vicious um but I need to put that IBC there into this IBC here um first just to get a bit of water Doing that, I will take that off that, that and that and that. Well, unlike your garden car pressure washers, this pressure washer ones, ones, this pressure washer ones off the back of the tractor. Nah, it runs off the PTO on the tractor. So basically, what you do is you turn it around the other way, stick it on the arms, stick the PTO in turn it on it's bloody powerful um it will literally have to be on less than tick over not to take the hair off because it's just vicious you wouldn't wash your car with it do you know what i mean need some balls i don't know where they are i think they might be on the whist but i will go and find out i'll just take this I would save water and stick it out of the way. Um, yeah, and then I'll crack on and have a little bash. Going around the corner because honest to God, that is the most glorious sunset. Or it will be. You can just tell it's gonna be amazing and I'm stuck around the corner. Found him. Got these, I'm just gonna get a new one, don't tell Roy. Too big. Are they the same size? No. Oh, they're not the same size. They'll do, won't they? Be organised. I told you it was going to be a stunner. I told you. Anyway, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. Rose's gonna go mad, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. It's stunning. Oh man, it's stunning, honestly. <laughs> it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. 
Oh. Like, look how white it is when you... Hold on. Are you ready? Oh, man. <laughs> I love it. I'm just so happy. Oh, I'm just gonna... I drop that off, I think, because I'm not here tomorrow. I'm gonna be driving early. And I, I know it's a pain in the ass for Roy to keep swapping machinery over. So I'll drop it off there. I'll stick it back on the Keenan just so he doesn't get cross at me when I'm on the motorway and he's doing all the work. Yeah, watch how bad I am. Dirty. It's making me happy. Yes, yes, it is. Now, I don't know whether Matthew just likes the smell of Tresemme, but he did specify brand, so we've gone for this. Don't know if that's a tip of the trade or something, you know, a trick of the trade. I miss the sun going down, I'm sorry. It would have been stunning. There's always tomorrow. Next time you see me, I'll be on the motorway looking slightly more presentable than I do now. Before I make it up, um, I'm, I'm stuck in like absolutely stuck traffic. Like, it stopped um, at Lancaster, so, um, there's a recovery truck just gone down there. I've been in here 45 minutes now, so there's a recovery truck just gone down the hard shoulder. So I am so hoping, so hoping that that is a sign that we're gonna get going soon. I could go around it, but no, I'm going through it. Wales is crazy. Wow. But this is so nice. Nigel, man. I'm not lost anymore. And um, I went home. This is Nigel. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel, what are you, Nigel? What I'm, are you? I'm, um, I work for Ridgeline. It, it works for Ridgeline. <laughs> he is Mr. Ridgeline. <laughs> <laughs> I bribe him on a regular basis to give me free clothing because I can't afford my own. I'll just like video it all. <laughs> Don't get a camera for me. Right. That's, that's better. It's on. Hold it sideways. You want to video it? It's YouTube, innit? It's on. It's going? Yeah. Well, That's a 33-seater Bailey trailer, and that's what I carry my um, guests in. in. Yeah. Okay. We're going to get a new mum. Good. Just chilling. <laughs> Distracts away from the scent of the lamb to more concentrating. Max, come here. On the dog. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Max, Max, Max. Yeah. Good dog. Good dog. Dog. The fact that I was going underneath the sea and then under a mountain. Like, <laughs> why didn't they just go around it? Why did they go through it? You went through a mountain. I went through a mountain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got really excited. <laughs> So Gareth had um, a calf that was grazing up on the hills that you can see here and it has picked up something and eaten something that it shouldn't have done. Um, at this
this time of the year when the plants are they're really young and the shoots are really tiny and green um if there's something poisonous it's more concentrated so the calf's obviously picked something up and it's giving it blows so what the vet had done he'd put like a plug in the side of it that lets all the air out and that he could put he put some um antibiotics into it to kill any bad bacteria in there and then he was drenching it with a bottle because it was too big for a stomach tube um, and he was actually drenching it with yeast and coffee which is just it's just crazy and so old school so yeah i thought i'd just explain that a little bit because um when i was making the video i realized that i didn't explain at all what was going on <laughs> right i hope you enjoyed that video more on me and gareth tomorrow it has been such a pleasure to come out with nigel and meet gareth and go to his home they were so kind but i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow